love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working now See, mine's is hooked up Got the 90 millimeter springs on both of them stepping through see I took my clutch cable ran it behind the oil filter and next to the pipe took the bracket off actually here's the bracket right here I'll show you right now this is the bracket for the left side and it will not go on so you can't use it anymore even if you try to put it behind it it won't go on it won't go over it it won't go on and you can't see it but it's it goes on there but it won't fit you know so you have to fabricate a mount you have to go to a mach machine shop to get it fabricated from these two holes around here, around the pipe, on the inside diameter, and under the bike. Once it goes under the bike, good. You know what I'm saying? Go under the bike, out the side, and then outside. But like you, I also have, mine is on there. I mean, it barely has any wiggle room, but I just want to see if the gasket I bought will fit. Let's see, so I'm going to take it back off and see if it fits. If not, it's too big. It's a 40 millimeter outer diameter. But I don't know. Oh, yeah. uh, The clutch cable, I took mine's off and I broke it off. So, I mean, it's not, it's not going anywhere. Even if you ride and it flicks around, I got it zip tied to the secondary air intake system, which I took out. That's no longer here. All that stuff is in that bin way over there. I'm not even using it no more. So I'm about to see if this uh, gasket works. So I took mine out. This is the old pipe. It fits pretty well. I mean, even though it got my restriction in there. It fit around this pipe, the old pipe, very well. So now I got to take off the new one and uh, put it on that one. See how it works. The one I got, it does fit. And I do have a little bit of porting to do. So the 40 millimeter flange does fit and the flat side goes against this flat side. And that's nearly a perfect finish right there. That's a little bit of a lip, but no big problem. The biggest problem is in here. I took the old gasket out. I ordered the new one. It does fit. A little bit of porting is involved. It's very loose. This was the old one. Chinese hunk of garbage. So now, I'm going to put this one in. Put it on. And then hope for the best. Same way mine's is looking. It stops right there. But my pipe is already hooked up. That's all I gotta do. Pop that bad boy on. Boom. Done. You can see that real good. That's probably the last time I'm gonna put that on. Because as you can see, they're soft. Super, super soft. Now it doesn't have any free play. I can shake the whole bike. Got my tail over there shaking. And now I can just connect the pipe. And be done. <laughs> if I can get the damn thing on. Let's see. Oh, there's no leeway. So I gotta push it back.
Really? It's like a pain in the butt. There we go. There you go. I think she's on there. Whew. That was a workout. I feel like I just went to the gym. So that is the stage two. No, that's the stage one. I'm bugging. With the K&N air filter, 30 millimeter smooth bore carb. It doesn't say it's on the other side. Got the new rubber boot on there. K, uh, what's this? E3 spark plug. It's the E3.36. Uh, free flowing exhaust, race exhaust with aftermarket slip on. Stage one is complete.